up curls it's Yolanda Renee and today I'm going to show you a few hairstyles that you can do with your braids your poetic justice braids of course I have this bun I just did a skincare routine so I pulled my hair into this huge bun um, but I'm gonna let her down <laughs> and show you a few styles that I do um, while having these in and these things are heavy by the way um, I think it's, it's easier to have them up. That's why I usually have a bun. Alright, so let me show you how boring these are when they're just hanging down. And I need to show you how long they are too. Because somebody asked me, they were like, how long are your braids? This is how long they are. <laughs> Absolutely love them though, you guys. Like, oh my gosh. And my hair is still holding up very well. Like, I don't see any hair, like, popping out or anything. They've been doing really good. To get them, like, out of my face, because if, if I just have them down like this, if I just go like this, it'll end up being like this. <laughs> and that's not cool. So what I do is I um, pull them all forward. And I only take a few pieces from the front on both sides. And doesn't even have to be even on both sides just pull it up and then I tie it in a knot so I'm tying these two sections in a knot so then I tie it down and I love how it automatically makes it look kind of like it's a weaving detail like you know what I mean? This is going over, this is going under, and this is over. So I like that whole look. And I'll just like play with it a little bit. So it gives it kind of like a layered look on this side. And then it also gives you some height up here. And you can play with the height a little bit. So yeah, this is how I usually like around the house if they start getting on my nerves, I'll just do like this really fast. And you can move which side it's on too. You can move this on this side if you want. And then pull it over. So yeah, here's the style. So the next style, we're gonna pull most of the hair forward up. So it's kind of like half up, half down. And we're going to use this back piece as our, our anchor, basically. It doesn't even have to be tight. Ponytail is going to be like your anchor. And you're going to pull this ponytail over and grab these braids. And you're going to start rolling it, almost like a roll, tuck, and pin. So you're going to keep twisting. And it's kind of be kind of like a Janelle Monet type of retro look. And these loose pieces, you're going to pull it around and tuck it underneath of this huge bun thing. <laughs> and it should be very secure, you guys. And then you can kind of shape it how you want it. So it's like a retro pinup pomp pompadour type look. <laughs> so yeah, here is another style that you can do. So another way that you can rock your hair, and this is like your old school poetic justice type look, and Tay Heckard. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to pull up the front pieces and you don't even have to get that many like only like a couple of rows and we're just going to pull up these front pieces and you're going to take your goodie hair band and just tie it maybe two times in the front and you want height, so you don't want to put the the goody hairband too far down on the root area. You want it to be up a little bit, you know. 
And you're just going to do like the waterfall type thing. So it's basically just half up, half down. But I like the look that it gives you. Another option of styling your hair is just using two strand knots to make a creative style. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to part our hair into three sections. So we're going to start in the back. So just like you're tying your shoes, but we're doing it with our braids. And now we're going to do the front section into a knot too. And this section, you can make it as loose as you want if you want it to be like a pompadour type thing. And then it's just tuck in the loose ends. And you can do this any way you want. There's really no method to my madness. I just tuck it so it's secure and hide the pieces that I don't want shown. So now I'm just rolling and pinning and, t I mean, and tucking. <laughs> I'm going to tie it again. So again, it's not really any perfect method. It's just tying it in a knot and trying to make it secure as possible. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. If you um, want any tips on how to install these yourself definitely go check out my tutorial it's a very detailed tutorial there's an extended version and there's a shorter version so you can pick one and yeah go check them out thank you so much for watching curls goodbye